Today on Geek Devotions, we're talking about Elseworlds, what ifs, and might be mentioning a wise monkey. Hello, and welcome to Geek Devotions, a show from a couple devoted geeks who are devoted to letting people know that they are loved. I am Celeste, and we are so excited that you hit play today. Don't forget to check out our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and our website because we have cool things happening on all of those, and they're all different, but they're all related, if that makes sense. So check them out. So today we're taking on a broader subject than what we normally do, a broader geekdom. We're going to be talking about Elseworlds. Elseworlds, for those of you who don't know, is a series that DC does where they take a story that is canon, such as Superman or Batman's origin, and they change it up a bit, such as what if the Waynes had found Superman? What if he had landed in Gotham? What would that look like? Marvel has them and their series is called What Ifs. There's also a author who writes alternative fiction, not alternative fiction, alternative histories. And he does some really interesting things and it makes a lot of sense. It's kind of scary. One of my favorites of his is he goes, what if Hitler had won? the Second World War. What would world be like? Kind of similar to Man in the High Castle. Stories like this are really fun to read, fun to think about. I know Dallas loves the Elseworlds series and he especially loves the ones about Batman. Go figure. But we have to be careful when we take that line of thinking because we can take it and apply it to our own lives and then it can become dangerous. We can take it to mean, well, what if I had taken this job and not this job? What if I had not made this decision? What if I hadn't done what I did? Would I still be dealing with these repercussions? Would X, Y, Z still happened in my life? That type of thinking can be very, very bad because you get so stuck in the past that you're focused on it and God can't say to you what he's wanting to say to you right now. Romans 1 21 says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him, not as God, neither were thankful, but because vain in their imaginations and their foolish heart was darkened. Now this verse that's talking about vain imaginations, it's not exactly talking about what we are talking about today. He's talking about people that know God's truth and basically put it on a second tier. They know the truth and they go, eh, it's okay, we'll put it down here. And then they put things above it. That's not exactly what we're talking about, but it does fit the situation of if you're so focused on the past, on the things you could have done, on the negative, if you hold on to the guilt of things that you could have done better, then you cannot focus on the things that you need to do now. So here is my challenge for you today. Do not let the things of your past, the things you regret, control your life today. A wise monkey once said, the past is the past. You can either run from it or learn from it. So I hope that you learn from the things that you could have done better, not hold on to them and feel guilty about them. Well, there was your devotion for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. No, he did. <laughs> So don't forget to check us out on all of the stuff and and come hang out with us because yes. we're pretty cool people. We also want to give a big special thanks to some certain people. Yes, starting with somebody brand new and special to our hearts. In case you guys don't know, we have a Patreon. You go to patreon.com forward slash geek devotions. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month and help keep this show going. Recently, we had a new patron join us. And you guys know how this goes when we get a new patron. We shout them out in an epic way. So, ready? Three, two, one. Andrew Markham! Andrew, congratulations. You joined the rank of a whole bunch of really cool, devoted Patreon geeks, including Francisco Ruiz. Adam Arsenega. Jonathan Gilbert. Cody McGurk. And Aaron Strauss. And uh, we personally just want to say thank you. thank you. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate your guys' support of this show and this ministry that we have here. And uh, we love you guys, and we appreciate every one of you. And again, if you want to become a devoted Patreon geek, you know, check out our website, geekdevotions.com. It has links to that. And also, if you want to give a one-time gift, there is a link to our PayPal where you can do that. 
So, yeah. Okay, and so it is now time for the question of the week. The week. The week. Question of the week is what story would you take and do an alternative history to it? Mm. What would the twist be? Mm. It's a twist. It's a twist. <laughs> Leave comments down below and let us know. And also, don't forget to check out us. Check us out on all of our social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just look for Geek Devotions. And of course, check out our website, geekdevotions.com, where as of late, we've got a lot of stuff hitting the website. We have some articles. We had some reviews. Uh, all kinds of really cool things that uh, will encourage you or maybe inspire you to check certain things out. So, until next time. Stay devoted. Peace and love.